Hello friends, welcome again to a problem solving session on sequence and series. Uh, so far we have been discussing the general term of an arithmetic progression. And in this question, you can see it says that if the mth term of an AP be 1 by n and nth term be 1 upon m, then show that its mnth term is 1. Now what is m, n and m, n and all that? Quite confusing, isn't it? But don't worry, let's you know, let me first illustrate this problem with an, with an example and then it becomes very easy for you to solve. So what it means is mth term, let's say m is equal to 5. Okay, so mth term will be 5th term. Okay, so tm will be 5th term and let's say n is equal to 6. So it will be 6th term, right? So what will be tmn, that is mnth term will be m into n, that is 30 in this case understood so this is what it means so don't get confused by these letters use of these letters okay now so once you understand the problem so what they are saying is tm is equal to 1 upon n right so mth term is tm and that is equal to 1 upon n and tn is 1 upon m okay and you have to find out tmn in fact, Tmn is equal to 1. You have to show. You have to show this. Okay. Let's try and solve this problem. So, let us say, let us say that the first term, first term is equal to A and common difference, common difference is equal to D. Okay, then uh, Tm will be uh, 1 upon n is given as Tm. This can be equated to first term plus m minus 1d. Is it it? This is equation number 1. Similarly, 1 upon m is equal to first term plus n minus 1d. Right, because this was mth term and the second is nth term. Okay, guys, so what we can do is do this operation 1 minus 2. Okay, 1 minus 2. What will you get? You'll get 1 minus n minus 1 upon m in the LHS. And here, a plus md minus d was the first one. And then subtract the second one minus a. Then minus nd and plus d, right? This is what it will be. So this d and this d goes, this a and this a goes. So what do we see? We see that and we can simplify this as well. So, right. And this is equal to um, M minus N D. Correct. So, so assuming M is not equal to N, right. Assuming M is not equal to N, then we can cancel this. If M is equal to N, then we can't cancel this. Please keep it in mind. So assuming, right. M is not equal to N, right. So hence D, what do I get? 1 by 1 by M N. So we found out D. Let's find out A. So from here we can find out A. A will be equal to 1 by N minus M minus 1 D. And D I can write as MN. Which is equal to 1 by N minus 1 by N again. Why? Because this M into 1 by MN will give you or let me write it so that you all will understand clearly. So 1 by N minus M into 1 by MN plus 1 upon mn. So this and this goes, so it is 1 upon mn as well. So A also happens to be 1 upon mn. Okay, so hence we had to find out Tmn. So what will be Tmn guys? Tmn is nothing but first term plus mn minus mn minus 1 d. Right? This is the result. So A is 1 upon mn and then this is m n minus 1 times 1 upon mn. So hence, if you see, this is nothing but 1 upon mn plus mn into 1 upon mn. Let's open the bracket. Yeah, this is 1 upon mn, right? So mn times mn is 1 and this thing and this thing will go. So hence, this is simply 1 and this is what we needed to prove, isn't it? See, they were asking you to prove that mnth term is 1 and we have proved it here. 
okay so i hope you understood the process i just used only one concept and that is the concept of finding the nth term of an ap okay